Do you ever feel like the dating world is against you, leaving you questioning your worth? Today, we're diving into the real issues within modern dating, addressing the misconceptions that lead many to feel broken. We'll explore the societal trends, digital dilemmas, and personal challenges that shape today's dating landscape. By the end of this video, you'll see it's not you that's broken. It's the complex world of dating that's in flux. Ready to shift your perspective and navigate dating with a new lens? Let's explore these challenges together. 1. The paradox of choice in dating apps. Here's the thing. While having options sounds great, too many can make it surprisingly hard to choose. It's like standing in the cereal aisle with a hundred kinds of granola staring back at you. Overwhelming, right? That's what dating apps can feel like. Suddenly, deciding on someone to swipe right on feels like a big commitment. This overabundance can lead to decision fatigue. You swipe, match, chat, rinse, and repeat. But with so many choices, people often hesitate to commit, thinking there might be someone better just to swipe away. This constant search for the next best thing can leave you feeling unsatisfied and, ironically, more alone. Then there's the issue of superficial interactions. Online dating can feel like browsing a catalog based on looks alone. But what about the stuff that really matters, like personality, values, and that inexplicable spark? These crucial elements often get lost in the digital shuffle, making connections feel more like transactions. And let's not forget about mental health. Constantly being judged on your profile and judging others on theirs can take a toll. It's easy to forget that behind every profile is a real person, with feelings and insecurities just like you. So, while dating apps can be a great tool to meet new people, Remember to take it easy. Focus on quality over quantity. And don't forget that sometimes less is more when it comes to making meaningful connections. 2. The cultural and relationship dichotomy. In today's dating scene, we're caught between old and new ways. Traditional dating gave us clear rules. What to expect, how to act, and where we're heading. It's comfortable and familiar but doesn't fit everyone anymore. Then there's modern dating, pushing us to explore, define our own rules, and prioritize personal happiness over social expectations. This approach is freeing, but can feel aimless without any structure. The real challenge, mixing the best of both without losing ourselves. It's not about dismissing tradition outright or rejecting every new trend. Instead, it's figuring out what works for us individually. Does the idea of waiting for someone to make the first move appeal to you, or do you prefer initiating contact? Are you comfortable with the idea of dating multiple people to find the right one, or do you prefer more exclusive arrangements from the start? Navigating this mix isn't easy. There's no one-size-fits-all answer. It's about personal comfort, values, and what you're looking for in a partner. The aim is to find a middle ground where you can honor your preferences while staying open to the new possibilities that modern dating offers. The goal is a balanced approach that allows you to be authentic and true to yourself while navigating the complex world of relationships today. 3. The Impact of Ghosting and Fading Interest Ghosting and fading interest have become common practices in modern dating, often amplified by online platforms. Ghosting is when someone you're dating suddenly stops all communication, disappearing without explanation. Fading interest, on the other hand, is a slower process where messages become less frequent and the person becomes increasingly distant until communication ceases altogether. These practices can lead to significant emotional distress. When someone disappears without a word, it leaves the other person in a state of confusion constantly wondering what went wrong. This lack of closure can lead to self-doubt and questioning one's self-worth. The person on the receiving end might think, was it something I said? Did I do something wrong? This can spiral into feelings of inadequacy and rejection. The problem is exacerbated by online dating, where connections can feel disposable due to the sheer number of potential matches. The ease of moving on to someone new with a few swipes can make ghosting seem like an easy out compared to having a difficult conversation about feelings. However, it's crucial to remember that ghosting or fading interest says more about the person doing it than the one receiving it. It's a reflection of their inability to handle uncomfortable situations or communicate effectively. Understanding this doesn't take away the sting, but can help mitigate feelings of personal failure and encourage moving forward with more self-respect and resilience. Hey, I hope you're finding this video insightful so far. If you are, could you show some support? A quick like, a comment, or even a subscribe can really make a difference. Thank you for being an essential part of this conversation. Four, embracing authenticity and overcoming rejection. In the world of online dating, being your authentic self is crucial. Authenticity means showing your true colors, your real interests, and your genuine self. 
It's about being honest in your profile and your interactions. This honesty can lead to more meaningful connections because it's based on real compatibility, not a facade. However, with authenticity comes the risk of rejection. That's where cringe mode comes into play. It's about embracing the awkward, the genuine, and the real, even at the risk of rejection. It's a mindset that encourages stepping out of your comfort zone and being open about your feelings and intentions. But how do you handle rejection when it comes? The key is building rejection resilience. This means understanding that not every match will be the right fit, and that's okay. Rejection is not a reflection of your worth as a person. It's just a part of the dating process. Clear communication is also fundamental. Expressing your needs, desires, and boundaries clearly can help prevent misunderstandings and ensure that both parties are on the same page. This open communication fosters a healthier, more honest dating environment where both parties can feel comfortable being themselves. Embracing authenticity in online dating and learning to handle rejection with grace can lead to healthier, more fulfilling relationships. It's about being true to yourself and respecting others, creating a foundation for connections that are genuine and lasting. Five, navigating modern communication norms. In today's digital age, much of our romantic communication occurs behind screens, leading to potential misinterpretations and misunderstandings. Text can be tricky. Without the nuances of tone, body language, or immediate feedback, messages can be misread. A simple period or a missed emoji can turn what was meant as a casual message into something that seems cold or disinterested. Moreover, the speed and convenience of texting can lead to impulsive messages and a lack of thoughtful communication. The expectation for immediate responses can add pressure, with delayed replies often misconstrued as disinterest. This digital dialogue, while convenient, lacks the depth and clarity of face-to-face -face conversations. To navigate these waters, clear and honest communication becomes even more critical. It's essential to be patient and give the benefit of the doubt, remembering that texts can't convey the full spectrum of human emotion. Setting clear expectations about communication styles and preferences can also help alleviate misunderstandings. For example, discussing whether you're someone who prefers texting about day-to-day -day activities or just making plans can set a clear guideline for how you communicate. While modern messaging offers new ways to connect, it also requires a new level of awareness and understanding. Being mindful of the limitations of digital communication and making an effort to express yourself clearly can help mitigate misunderstandings and strengthen relationships in the digital dating age. Six, the financial and emotional costs of modern dating. Modern dating can be both emotionally and financially draining. The journey to find a connection involves not just time and energy, but also money. From the cost of dating app subscriptions to the expenses of going out, meals, movies, coffees, and the occasional new outfit, the financial toll can add up quickly. It's not just about the money spent on actual dates. It's the investment in looking your best and sometimes traveling to meet someone, which all contribute to the financial strain of modern dating. Then there's the emotional investment. Modern dating often involves a cycle of excitement, disappointment, and resilience. The time spent swiping, messaging, and getting to know someone can be extensive. When things don't work out, it's not just the lost time. It's the emotional roller coaster that takes a toll. Each ghosted conversation and failed date can chip away at your emotional well-being, leading to dating fatigue. Despite these costs, many continue the search for a meaningful connection, viewing these investments as necessary steps toward finding a compatible partner. The key is finding a balance recognizing the emotional and financial limits, and taking breaks when needed. It's also about setting realistic expectations and not putting undue pressure on every interaction or date to be the one. Modern dating is a journey, not a race, and it's okay to step back and recess your approach to protect your emotional and financial well-being. Bonus tip. Cultivate self-compassion and personal growth. In the world of modern dating, it's easy to fall into a cycle of self-criticism and doubt, especially after a series of disappointing experiences. However, embracing self-compassion means treating yourself with the same kindness and understanding that you would offer a good friend. This approach helps to mitigate the harsh self-judgment that can come from dating mishaps and perceived failures. Personal growth is equally important. It involves actively seeking to understand oneself, to learn from experiences, and to develop in areas that are important to you. This could mean working on communication skills, learning to set healthy boundaries, or exploring new interests and hobbies that enhance your sense of self. Together, self-compassion and personal growth create a powerful foundation for navigating the dating world. They allow you to approach dating from a place of self-assurance and openness, 
rather than fear and insecurity. When you're kind to yourself, you're better equipped to handle rejection and setbacks. And when you're committed to personal growth, every experience becomes an opportunity to learn and evolve regardless of the outcome. Incorporate practices into your daily routine that bolster self-compassion and personal growth. This could be through meditation, journaling, therapy, or simply setting aside time for self-reflection. By fostering these qualities within yourself, you'll not only enhance your dating life, but improve your overall well-being and satisfaction with life. Up next, discover how to get better at talking to people or learn about the psychology of attraction. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more.